Hey guys, Courtney here with Courtney's Customs and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I made this super cute, it's freaking bats, I love Halloween, peekaboo, outlined, glow in the dark tumbler. Yes, it glows in the dark, that's my favorite part about it and I will show that to you guys at the very end. But this is super easy, really really fun and I hope you guys enjoy it, so let's get started. Alright, so I'm starting off with a 20 ounce skinny straight from Maker Flow Crafts and I have base painted it Head in the Clouds from rust -Oleum. And I'm going to be using this really, really awesome glitter from the Glitter Grind. It's called Lime Wire. It's a chunky mix. This glows in the dark. It glows like a really fluorescent green. It is so gorgeous and I'm really, really excited to work with it. So all I'm going to do is start by covering my entire tumbler in Mod Podge. And now I'm just going to cover the entire tumbler in this glitter. It's going to look really, really cool. Now while the Mod Podge is still wet, I am going to very, very carefully roll it up in my parchment paper and press down. And this is just flattening all of that chunky glitter onto the tumbler. So whenever we go to epoxy it, everything will be laying nice and flat and there won't be any pieces sticking straight up and getting all sharp. And rolling it up in the parchment paper just helps do more at once so you're not going through the whole tumbler and pushing down with your finger but I do like to set it like sideways and just kind of look and see if there's any pieces sticking up and if so I'll go through and push them down with my finger just tapping off more excess and now all we have to do is seal this with Rust-Oleum Matte Clear Enamel. I'm going to pop it on my turner back here from Bama Cups. I'm going to epoxy until smooth, which is probably only going to take a couple of coats. I'm going to make sure to sand in between each epoxy coat. And then we will come back to do the next step. Alright, so after one coat of epoxy, this is definitely not smooth and we want it to be completely smooth before we move on. So I'm going to go in with an 80 grit sanding block that I got from Amazon, rough it up really, really good, especially around the edges, and then I'm going to clean it up with some 91% rubbing alcohol and a paper towel, and then probably add two more coats of epoxy. So after a couple coats of epoxy, it's nice and smooth. I have the cutest collection of little decals here we're going to do. This one says it's freaking bats. I love Halloween. If you guys have seen that video, you will know what that means. Really cute little moon with stars and of course some freaking bats. So <laughs> I am so excited. This is going to be cute. It's going to be a really adorable little peekaboo. So right now I am starting off by just adding the decals where I want them not using a color of vinyl that I really care much about or use a whole lot of because this is going to be wasted. Um, like I said, it is going to be a peekaboo. So this vinyl is going to be removed very shortly. And the way I'm taking this off, I do this whenever I am working with like really like delicate little pieces like the little drips on the words um the really small skinny font where it says I love Halloween um it just kind of helps me remove that backing a lot easier so now whenever I put my decals on I like to stand them up get eye level and put them on like so and remember these are all going to be removed once I spray paint and all of the spray paint dries. And now I'm gonna put the moon on the back. And also after we remove these decals, I'm gonna be adding not an offset, but like a outlining 
it's gonna be really really pretty so I want to put the moon directly behind that and I want the moon to be at kind of an angle like so and now time to add the bats So I'm just going to remove the ones that are kind of like in the way. And I'm not going to reposition them, I'm just completely taking them off. Alright, so now that all of the decals are on there, I am going to go outside and spray paint the entire tumbler with Little Black Dress from Color Shop Paints. So now the paint is all dry, it's time to remove every little bit of vinyl that we put on before we spray painted. Okay, so now before I add any of the offsets or the outlines, I'm going to add a coat of epoxy and then come back. Okay, so I went ahead and added a coat of epoxy and you're going to see some like little scuff marks here and there. There were, um, for one, there was a gnat that landed here, so I cut that out <laughs> and then there was um, a bump right there, so I cut that out. But what I went ahead and did was took some silver holographic vinyl and I created outlines for what I cut out previously. Um, and I did that in Silhouette Studio. I, instead of using an offset, I used an internal offset and cut that out. So now it's just a matter of applying the outline decals around the peekaboo decals. So I'm gonna start with the one that I feel like would probably be the easiest, which is this big old moon. So I'm just going to pick this up with my transfer tape and line it up. I'm going to try my hardest <laughs> to get it to be as perfect as I can. All right, so there's that. Now I'm just going to completely outline the rest. Look how cute! Okay, so now I'm just going to add the finishing coats of epoxy and this will be completely done. Look how cute! It's freaking bats! I love Halloween! <laughs> and I do love Halloween! And I love this so much and you guys want to see the best part? It glows in the dark! I love it so much! That's all I have for you guys today. I really, really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It's simple, but it is so stinking cute, and I love it, and I absolutely love this quote. It's freaking bats. I love Halloween. <laughs> Before I go, like always, I do have y'all's cup of positivity for the day, and today's quote is, life is like riding a bicycle. To keep your balance, you must keep moving. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and like always, if y'all have any questions, please feel free to comment. Don't forget to subscribe, be kind, love one another, and I'll see you in the next one.